All right, here we are out in the shop. Uh, I've got a little sort of little office cubicle set up out here where I have a computer. And I'm going to show you how to install the uh, JMRI software, which is the uh, Decoder Pro and Panel Pro software, and then also the drivers. Now, I initially meant to do this on a Mac, but believe it or not, uh, it was actually a big pain in the ass um, getting the drivers installed and getting them to work and everything. And it's actually easier on a PC, which is unusual. But I've downloaded the JMR JMRI software, and it is here. If you just go to Google and just type in JMRI, it'll take you right to the site where you can download your version, either Windows, Mac, or Linux. Here is the Windows version here. Downloaded it, so we're just going to go ahead and install it. Piece of cake, you just go ahead and go through the normal steps. Only takes a minute to install. Okay, well, that was pretty painless. The software is installed. We'll go ahead and click next here and finish. Okay, that's it. That's done. And there's a Panel Pro and a Decoder Pro icon on the desktop here. Now, the next step is the is the tricky bit, and it's not even all that tricky, actually. Um, but you take your, your loco buffer here. There we go. Get that up there. And it's got a USB cable there. Okay. We plug that into the computer the correct way. And we get this little new hardware found wizard thing. Now, uh, I have downloaded the drivers from the manufacturer's website. The instructions that come with the loco buffer say that you get the drivers off the included CD. Of course, I didn't get a CD, and I, I don't know if that's normal or not. Maybe this is the way they do it now to make sure everybody's got the latest version. You just have to download them. So I downloaded them. I've got the PC uh, drivers here. So what I'm going to do, the new hardware, new hardware wizard comes up, and it says you want to search for the proper update, blah, blah, blah. Say no. And say next. Install from a list of specified location, and then I go ahead and just browse to that location, which is on my desktop in the PC drivers i386 folder. Doesn't like that. Okay, PC drivers. Okay, next. Okay, it found the driver. Continue. It's installing the driver for the local bus, local buffer USB. Now when it's done with this, it's going to find another device, which is part of the same physical device, which is the, let's see what it finds, USB serial port. Say no again, you don't want it searching for a driver, you say next, install from a specific location, next, browse to that location, PC drivers, okay, next, continue and it finds the local buffer USB USB driver thingy. Okay, so it should all be installed and working. Let's look at the, okay, the local buffer has a green dot on it. That means that it's working. There's two green dots on here. One of them shows that the USB is functioning. The other one shows that it's communicating with the uh, Digitrax loco net, and I don't have that turned on yet, so that's not on. But the green light there is a good sign. That means it is working. So what I want to do now is launch Decoder Pro. JMRI. Not the fastest loading program in the world. Automatically loads help every time. I get rid of that, it's kind of annoying. Okay, layout connections. I am doing LocoNet with a loco buffer USB and I am doing COM3 because I just happen to know that when this USB software that I just installed installs it emulates COM port 3 and I have for the moment a DB150 booster or command station and save and it's going to want to restart with these new settings Okay, 
so now we are ready to go I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video right here because all I wanted to show here was how to get it installed and then I'm going to show it in operation on the next video